Hello children how you are all i hope you all are doing great let's continue with our chapter physical and chemical change to understand chemical change better let us perform few more activities activity 7 aim to observe the formation of new substances when an iron nail is placed in copper sulfate solution materials required a beaker water copper sulfate children actually copper sulfate originally is of blue color a stirrer a spatula a test tube a test tube stand and a clean iron nail procedure fill a beaker half with water add a spatula full of copper sulfate to it stir it well a blue colored solution is formed see kids this blue color solution this is a solution of copper sulfate because copper sulfate is blue color crystals pour some of this solution into a test tube and keep it aside in a test tube stand take a clean iron nail observe its color place it gently in the beaker containing copper sulfate solution to understand this activity better let us watch a video Let's perform this activity. Material required: iron nails, sandpaper, test tubes, copper sulfate solution, thread, clamp stand, and test tube stand. Take two test tubes marked as A and B, and in each test tube, pour about ten mL of copper sulfate solution. Fix test tube A on the clamp stand and keep the test tube B in the test tube stand. Now take three iron nails and clean them by rubbing with sandpaper. Tie two iron nails with a thread and immerse them carefully in the test tube A for about twenty minutes. Keep the third nail as it is. After twenty minutes, take out the nails and keep them besides the third nail. Do you observe any change? On comparing both the nails, you will find that the two iron nails have developed reddish brown coating, which is not rust. Now compare the change in color of test tube A and B. You will find that in test tube A the blue color disappears and a greenish color developed. Here when iron nail was dipped in copper sulfate solution iron being more reactive displays copper that is cu from the solution as you know copper sulfate is blue in color this iron comes in the solution and displays copper iron sulfate feso4 is green in color and the copper get deposited on iron nail making a reddish brown coating on iron I hope the video helped you to understand this activity better. Leave this setup for about half an hour. Note if the blue color of the solution has faded away. Compare this with the sample you saved in test tube. Remove the iron nail from the copper sulfate solution. Note if the color of iron nail has also changed. Observation: the blue colored solution becomes green and iron nail becomes reddish brown. conclusion when an iron nail is placed in copper sulfate solution a new substance called ferrous sulfate is formed and copper gets deposited on iron nail so let us understand it with representation copper sulfate that is cuso4 is actually blue in color when it reacts with iron 
iron is a more reactive metal so it will displace the copper it will replace this copper and with so4 it will form ferrous sulfate that is feso4 which is green in color along with that copper metal is formed this copper metal gets deposited on iron nail so that brownish reddish brownish brownish coat which you saw on iron nail was actually copper instead of rust so see copper sulfate blue reacts with iron and form iron ferrous sulfate that is green plus copper reddish brown coat on iron nail since new substances ferrous sulfate and copper ferrous sulfate and copper are formed it is a chemical change children i hope now you can differentiate between physical and chemical changes now chemical changes show certain characteristics we'll take a look at them thus from these activities we can conclude that a chemical change is usually accompanied by the first characteristic is change in color kids try to recall the previous activities in which you saw a change in color when an iron nail is kept in copper sulfate solution it becomes reddish brown so here the color of iron nail changes to reddish brown moreover the color of copper sulfate solution which was very good blue changed to green in another example when white crystals of lead nitrate so here we got an idea that lead nitrate is white in color is heated a reddish brown gas nitrogen dioxide is evolved so here also you can see a reddish brown gas is releasing showing a change in color a yellow colored lead monoxide is formed so let us see it see here when lead nitrate is heated the brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide is released here the reaction can be represented as lead nitrate that is pb no3 whole twice when it is heated it produces lead monoxide that is pbo and nitrogen dioxide no2 along with oxygen gas o2 now let us look at second characteristic the second characteristic of a chemical change is release or absorption of energy in the form of heat or light on burning magnesium ribbon i hope you all can correlate that how heat and light is released during burning of magnesium ribbon it gives out a dazzling white light and when zinc granules are kept in hydrochloric acid heat is released making the test tube warm all the reactions can be classified into exothermic and endothermic reactions here exo means exit release okay thermic means heat so in a reaction when heat energy is released those reactions are called as exothermic reaction now look at this magnesium ribbon burning here the heat energy is released along with light energy don't you think this will fall in the category of exothermic reaction whereas endo means enter and thermic means heat so a reaction in which the heat is absorbed or the energy is absorbed are called as endothermic now see in another example when carbon and sulfur are heated carbon disulfide is formed heat energy is absorbed in this reaction try to answer whether this reaction carbon plus sulfur gives carbon sulfide will fall under the category of endothermic or exothermic reaction very good the answer will be endothermic reaction as it is absorbing heat energy now let's move to the third characteristic of chemical reaction 
evolution of gas when zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid hydrogen gas is evolved that is when zinc reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid zinc chloride and hydrogen gas is released fourth characteristic production of sound when zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid hydrogen gas is evolved which burns with a pop sound also when you burst cracker an explosion is heard fifth and last characteristic of chemical change is change in smell some chemical reaction result in production or change in smell example spoiling of food and rotting of an egg so i hope you all have experienced how the food get a foul smell when it gets spoiled are chemical changes they produce foul smell children i hope now you all can differentiate between physical and chemical changes now let's see the differences between physical and chemical changes physical change the first point a change in which no new substance is formed is called a physical change whereas a change in which a new substance is formed is called a chemical change physical change a physical change is usually accompanied by change in shape size or state for example dissolving of salt in water inflating a balloon etc whereas in chemical change a change is usually accompanied by a change in color release or absorption of heat or light evolution of gas production of sound of a gas or change in smell for example rusting of iron spoiling of food burning of coal etc physical change most physical changes are reversible changes whereas most chemical changes are irreversible changes that is we can't get the original substance back in chemical change now children let's check our understanding check point 1 right true or false the first point size shape and color are physical properties of matter what do you think children very good it's true come to the second point in a chemical change a new substance is formed do you agree well done it's also a true statement third statement boiling of water is an irreversible change what do you think yes you all are correct boiling of water is a physical process so it can't be irreversible change so this statement is false come to fourth statement zinc granules do not react with hydrochloric acid i hope you all disagree with this statement which makes it false kids let us discuss your favorite part that is the question answers which are to be written in notebook for which you will get a pdf file let's see question number 6 give examples where chemical changes are accompanied by change in smell answer to this question is spoiling of food and rotting of egg question number 7 what are the characteristics of a chemical change I hope you all can recall this answer. Yes, characteristic of a chemical change are first change in color, second release or absorption of energy in the form of heat and light, third evolution of gas, fourth production of sound, fifth change in smell. Let's deal with our next question. Our next question is write the difference between a physical and a chemical change so answer to this is physical changes first no new substance is formed whereas in chemical change new substance are formed physical change are generally reversible in nature whereas chemical changes are irreversible in nature third 
physical changes are accompanied by change in shape size or state whereas chemical changes are accompanied by change in color and smell release and absorption of heat or light evolution of gas production of sound fourth example of physical change freezing of water example of chemical change rusting of iron i hope children you enjoyed this session so keep smiling keep studying and stay fit have a great day